Microplastics are tiny plastic particles, less than 5 mm wide, often invisible to the naked eye. They come from the breakdown of larger plastic items, synthetic clothes, and plastic packaging. And here is the scary part. Now they are found in our water, food, air, and even in human blood. Now, why should you care? Plastics take hundreds of years to degrade. Not enough long-term studies are done yet on the harmful effects of microplastics on human health, but some research show correlation with cancer, dementia, and brain health. Microplastics can absorb and carry harmful chemicals like pesticides, heavy metals, and endocrine disruptors. These toxins may accumulate in the body, affecting brain health, immunity, and metabolism. So how can we ingest microplastics? Now, some of these surprised me as well. Like I thought paper cups for drinking tea or coffee is fine, but I found out they have an inside plastic lining to make them sturdy. Tea bags surprised me as well. Since it's almost impossible to avoid microplastics 100%, I have come to the conclusion that there is no point being paranoid. We should just know where the major sources of microplastics are and avoid to the extent possible. So I moved from plastic and paper cups for my hot beverages to ceramic cups. I don't use nonstick pans for cooking and I avoid bottled water and carry my own water where possible. Now these tools can help you remove microplastics already ingested or at least avoid harmful effects from microplastics related toxins. So try to adopt a high fiber diet from real foods, not fiber supplements. If you can, increase your intake of cruciferous vegetables and try to exercise so you sweat at least a few times a week. If you're interested to find out the amazing health benefits of high fiber diet, please check out my video on fostering good gut bacteria linked in the notes section below.